Hi, thank you for showing interest in managing sales through Run My Office, your simple but powerful CRM on mobile. Sales is the most important aspect of running a business and timely following up is one of the most important sales activity. Run My Office makes it easier for you to monitor health of your sales, track if valuable leads are being followed up timely or not, before they get cold and opportunities get lost. This video will demonstrate how you can streamline your sales activities using Run My Office and make the most of the prospects you have. I am now going to show the chart which captures the status of your sales follow-ups. So you see the four icons on the top, I am going to click on follow-ups. Here you can see the follow-up status of your leads by each assigned salesperson. This chart here shows me that there are zero leads which have been followed up by this salesperson in last 20 days. And just a couple of leads which were followed up before that. There are 107 leads for which there is no tracker set up yet. So that means I can safely assume that there is no follow-up happening for those. It also shows there are 260 leads which are not assigned to anybody. Now this is very important as if the leads are not assigned to anyone, it means no one is following them up or working on them and you will lose all these opportunities. You can see a similar chart for each of your salesperson. Clicking on it will show you which leads are making up these numbers. Now let me go to Sales Pipeline. Run My Office has a few standard Sales Pipeline stages, predefined to make it simpler for you. These stages are and so on. This screen shows you how many and which leads are in which stage. For example, I have 617 leads in my earliest stage. Then 72 have been contacted. 37 have actually responded. And so on. Now let's check out the sales charts. So again, I will be clicking on the third icon on top, charts. Here are some of the sales charts, important snapshots and status of your sales at your fingertips. The first one, leads creation and conversion by person. This chart shows me how many leads have been collected and then converted by each of my salesperson in this quarter. I can see the same for let's say this month. Here, leads creation and conversion by month. This chart quickly shows me how many leads were collected and then converted in each month, irrespective of which salesperson did that. This chart here, although I do not have data, but I can collect the reason of losing a prospect. And then in this chart, I can see a summary of which are the most frequent reasons for which I'm losing my customers. And then I can focus on it and improve on it. Again, clicking on it will take me to the details. If I click further, I see the details of that lead. Now let's go back. So how did I create all this data? Creating leads data in the app is very easy. 
you can either bulk upload an Excel sheet with your existing lead data. This is useful when you are getting started with Run My Office and you have lots of data. Or you can enter it manually as you collect your leads every day. Each salesperson will enter their own leads. You can create a lead with as minimum information as a name or you can enter more details like sales and contact information. Most of the information here is optional. The better updated your leads records though, the better information you will get from the various charts and dashboards. You can even add labels, notes, images and documents to your leads and customers. This will help you categorize them better and keep all related information together and handy. You can search your leads by typing any part of their name or any other attribute. So that search icon on top, if I click this, I can start searching. For example, let's say I type Mumbai. This is showing me all my leads from Mumbai. Let me search by label. Here, I found six leads, which are my channel partners. You can also go to advanced filter and look up all the leads that you're interested in, in this manner. So the second icon next to the search, that's advanced filter. I have these many attributes. I can select one or more and come to a list that I want to target. So for example, I have this RCH50 pre-selected and let's say go and these 91 leads have that label. Once you have your selected leads show up after a filter, you can quickly send them a templated email on any promotion or other relevant info. It just takes a few seconds, really. So these are my 91 selected leads and I click on broadcast. And I come here and I can select a predefined template. And the moment I say send, I send all these emails to those leads. So I go back. These are my customer cards. And notice there is so much of information, summary information right there. I have a quick status, Shalini Saroop needs a demo, it tells me which stage it is in, it tells me how many labels are attached, it tells me how many notes are there. And not just that, I can actually change a lot of things from right here. So for example, this RS which denotes the salesperson it is assigned to, if I click on it, I can actually assign it to somebody else. Top right are the card menu which give me various options that I can do on this lead. If I click on the card, I get to see the details of this lead. These are the notes that have been added for this lead in past and so on. So hope that gives you a good overview of what you can do with the little CRM packed in this mobile app. If you have any further questions, feel free to write to us at contact at eqtribe.com. You can also go to our support pages if you are using the app and you want some more information. That is support.eqtribe.com. And of course, 
you can always send us a feedback through contact feedback or get one-on-one -on -one support on WhatsApp. Thank you.